Hi there everyone, it's Jaakko here. It's been a while. I got into an accident and I actually broke my vertebra and I was hospitalized for like a month. But yeah, I'm doing much better now and being able to do things like uh, play around in Substance Designer and do my job as well. So yeah, um, I wanted to take a look at the, how we can create the pattern for for this diamond tile plate thing. And I got a lot of questions about Substance Designer, how we can get and create patterns like that from scratch and how we can get in there and do some stuff. So this whole um, source file is available in Gumroad in my Gumroad page. So if you want to get it, you can just grab it for $5 and and play around with it and, and change the settings and see how these whole things come together. So it looks pretty complicated because there's a lot of things like uh, mud and scratches and you can change mud color and uh, small scratches and things like that and sand particles and then you can also expose those parameters and and create uh, substances to, to work with in Substance Painter for example or other applications so yeah but uh, I'd like to focus how we can uh, come up with this because this is of course the most crucial part of creating the graph because when you create something like that you can just basically start by doing the, the most important element and then add to it so basically if you have this you almost have this because then you can just create the height maps and create the albedo maps and uh, normal maps just by using this height detail as a, as a sort of base. So let's take a look how we can create this. So I'm going to actually uh, delete because I'm just playing around with this later. So so what we get in here basically is we start with this basic shape. So I'm just going to go and create like shape just like that and we're getting like a basic square. So I'm going to do this paraboloid for, for, for now and then I'm just going to change the scale a little bit so we're getting like something like that and then what we can do is that I'm just gonna add I'm gonna hit space and click these levels in here so we are gonna, gonna be able to sort of tighten up it a little bit something like that to create a little variations but we can actually adjust it later so and then what I did actually use transform transformation 2d in here and I'm gonna get to this in a moment why we're gonna use this so I'm just gonna hit space again and write transformation to D. So we're getting these, I'm just gonna uh, maybe squeeze it a little bit like that. And then now you can see we are getting like re repetition here and we don't want that. So we need to go to tiling mode and hit absolute and then just go like no tiling. So we're getting this one and it doesn't matter where it is at the moment. So then what I've done here is that I actually used this gradient map in here to sort of, uh, I'm not sure why I used this actually, uh, maybe we don't need that, so I'm just going to do this symmetry, I'm going to hit again space and write symmetry. So what this does is that this allows us to do, well actually, ah, I see, so the symmetry node, I used this actually um, a color version of the node, uh, let's see if we have a symmetry grayscale uh, we don't have that doesn't show up so well maybe we we can actually just deal with this uh, in a color someone in the comments please let me know in the comments if you know a uh, grayscale version of the it would be a little bit more efficient but never mind so uh, what I did here is just uh, change the actually we have like symmetry mode in here we can use mirror uh, X I suppose uh, and then he used transfer mode I'm not sure I used 6 so X and 6 was the settings what I used now we don't see anything at the moment and that's because of uh, uh, the position where we use so this allows us to get that nice sharp uh, because you can see we have this sharp uh, edges in here and what this does is that it creates the uh, it sort of uh, mirrors it in the in the center if you if that makes any sense so I'm just gonna go in here and uh, maybe double click this and then click this once and now we're gonna be able to see what we are coming up with so obviously we need to do some adjusting here uh, maybe um, we could uh, maybe tighten up this little bit to create some more something like that uh, let's see I'm just gonna adjust it something like that see what what we are coming up here so Something like that might actually work for us. Let's see. Yeah, so now I'm... It looks a little... Um, that looks really, really nice. Let's see what, what's going on here. So 
what I actually did was I created this uh, this sort of uh, effect. So let's see. I'm just gonna yeah, something like that might be better. It looks pretty much the same as in that. I'm just gonna copy it. I'm feeling a little bit lazy, so sorry about that. So um, we have now this. I'm just gonna go again and move it a little bit. I'm gonna double click this and click this once. So something like this looks uh, pretty much good for us. Uh, I'm not sure why this is so smaller than that one. Uh, we got look like, bigger in here. Um, could it be? Um, oh yeah, some reason. Yeah, I'm just gonna scale it up. So yeah, simple. So actually, we can if you want to scale like uniformly, you can just Control and Shift, and then you're gonna be able to scale like um, uniformly. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that. And I can double click. So we're getting like this, which looks almost almost the same as in here. Again, uh, I'm gonna hit Shift and Control to squish it a little bit. So we are getting, getting this, which looks uh, pretty much like uh, what we are seeing here. So you can see that you have this nice fall off on those, and then you have this sharp edge, pointy edge in here. And of course, you could uh, build on this if you want to create some of those uh, diamond uh, plate patterns. Have actually this kind of like uh, interesting uh, uh, horizontal sort of uh, shapes going on here. But well, we can uh, play around with this. So of course, at this point, you can just keep adding to this, which is just. Uh, Awesome. So, so again, you can see now we have two of these in here. So, so what you can do in here is really easy to just hit um, transform 2D, transformation 2D, <coughs> excuse me, and um, then um, maybe copy this around. So, uh, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, and and now I'm just gonna go offset here. Maybe uh, I'm gonna go like minus uh, zero one in this one, and then I'm gonna go plus zero one. Maybe this one in here. And then uh, I'm gonna hit space and just click this blend in here and we'll blend these guys together. Something like that and hit uh, add linear dots. So now we have two of these, so so we're going along pretty well here. So then what I did was just uh, transmission 2D uh, in here. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> uh, maybe we don't need to do that. I'm not really sure why I did that. So, uh, Never mind about this. So, so then what I've done in here is that I've used a grayscale conversion to get it back into grayscale. Um, so uh, because of this little guy, it's in color. Uh, I'm feeling like uh, someone in the comment is just gonna butcher me with uh, what I'm doing using color nodes in here, but um, it works, so it should be okay. So then I'm having a tile generator, which is the real, uh, which is the real meat uh, of this whole thing. So I'm just gonna go in here and write tile, uh, tile generator in here, and um, you can see that uh, it doesn't look anything like that. So we have to select uh, here the pattern type into the image input, and and now we are getting this, which just looks awful. It's not 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 what we want. So I'm gonna go maybe reduce the number into something like eight in here, which should be pretty much the same. And then what we have in here, we have like one really, really interesting button and it's the Queen Kunks flip. How do, how do you pronounce it? Queen Kunks? I have no idea. I'm gonna turn that on. What happens is it does this and this is pretty much exactly our diamond plate. It's so freaking cool. I'll just turn this on like that. And then uh, now um, what you can do is that, well, it would be nice to rotate it like uh, 45 degrees. So I'm just gonna go uh, hit save, uh, transform, grayscale. So what this does is that this allows us to rotate and transform uh, stuff without losing the tiling properties. So I'm gonna go in here and like write 45 degrees in here. And nothing happens. What's going on? This doesn't... Uh, compute it doesn't work at all um, let's see what's uh, really happening I think that uh, what I did in here I used this transformation 2d to sort of uh, do the tiling so I, this this by default creates tiling effect so this should uh, fix it but it doesn't fix it what's going on um, so I figured out that actually this transformation 2d node needs to have this tiling set into HNB tiling because otherwise it doesn't work so what this does is that it makes uh, this 
pattern to be tileable again because we are sort of a, uh, override it in here and then we need to, to, to do this pattern so we need to switch the styling back so now it will probably get us this uh, perfectly tiling pattern so so from now it's just a simple matter of building this this uh, ma material by using uh, things like uh, for example I'm using uh, some uh, generators some uh, uh, noise generators here to create some uh, interesting effects here such as uh, this uh, uh, sort of a roughness build up on on these because maybe some dust is gathering on these uh, these crevices in here and then uh, adding adding some color in here so I'm having like you can see that this uh, albedo map here has some values in here again nothing uh, nothing too, too uh, hard in here nothing like too extreme here so just basic uh, color values and, and things like that so I'm just uh, building up it here you can see uh, gathering, gathering some uh, little details in here and putting some grime and things like that on that and then again the roughness is the same thing so so you can get this uh, whole thing uh, just by five dollars by going to my Gumroad page so tile generator and also the safe transform and grayscale are very powerful tools for creating uh, tileable patterns such as these I hope you find this video useful and I hope to see you soon this was Yako. bye bye